This is guessing who the league champion is from the music alone. Today we're going to be listening to Braum, The Heart of the Frail Yord. Never heard this music before. Let's go. Feels like Braum is incredibly strong. There is a strongman element to this. How do I come to that deduction? Well, we're looking at big beats here. One da 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 It's very like I am big strong man. I will take care of this. I am unstoppable. You know, there's a almost a playfulness to this, which is very like hockey confident, but you know, like playful, like oh, you're puny. I've got this under control. I think that's because first of all, I've got the big beats, which are emphasizing strength and brute force then that tune is uh, the playful part that's where I'm making that deduction let's keep going interesting introspective moment here. First of all, I'm pretty sure when we have these big beats, we're also hearing some sort of like chorus going, ho. Oh! and I think that's cool because if Braum is the heart of the Freljord, maybe the leader of the Freljord or like the heart and soul, like the, the people that, the man that people rally behind, that is like the, the cries of the people, right? This quiet section feels like it's much more about how do I be a good leader? What do I do to ensure that my people are satisfied, right? Yeah, in my humble opinion, there's a lot of pride in this character and a lot of like, well, we're gonna do what we have to do. And he's, you know, he's very tough, but has a big heart. Let's listen to Brown Trials of the Poro, champion teaser.
That's cute. Just a happy dude. Hang on, I want to watch this. Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Brock, the heart of the Freljord. If at first you do not succeed, please, tell me what it is like. <laughs> Brock is a hero of the Freljord, a champion strongman famed for his selfless and legendary feats. Once a simple goat herder, Brom found an unbreakable door and uses it as a shield to protect man and creature an alike unbreakable on his door. journey through Runeterra. In game, Brom is a tanky support with the ability to defend allies from a barrage of attacks before hammering out his own immense crowd control abilities. Mother always said, big things come in small packages. That's awesome. Let's look at the lore. Even as a child, Brown was much larger than other Freljordian youngsters, but his mother taught him never to use his size to intimidate or bully. She came from a proud line of herders and believed true courage lay in using one's power not to dominate but to protect those in need. When Brown was still a boy, ice giants devastated a neighboring tribe. That tribe had long preyed upon the herds of Brown's people, but his mother didn't hesitate to head out across the tundra to help the survivors, bearing furs, foodstuffs, and healing supplies. At first, Brown didn't understand why she would aid their rivals, but after her actions saved many lives, they became lifelong allies. He finally understood what his mother meant when she said that all Freljord's peoples were a family, and from that day forth, he pledged to bring that family together. As Brown grew, it was clear he was one of the revered Iceborne, though even among their number, his strength and ability to endure the elements were legendary. He became a local hero, rescuing children who had slipped into icy ravines, saving travelers stranded in blizzards, and protecting families from ravaging wild claws. Whenever he appeared, people knew help had arrived. He was a figure of hope, known for his liveliness and laughter in the easy way he made friends. Eventually, Brom realized he was needed beyond the valleys and tundra where he had been raised. Bidding his mother a tearful farewell, he set out to travel the Freljord. Over the years, countless stories spread of Brom's mighty feats and good deeds. While most had at least a kernel of truth, they grew increasingly far-fetched and mythic, such as the legend of how he chopped down an entire forest in a single night using only his bare hands, or how during a volcanic eruption he saved an isolated farmstead by picking it up and carrying it to higher ground. A more recent tale spoke of how Brom Brown found his immense ram-headed shield. As the story went, it was an enchanted vault door, forged in ancient times and set into a mountain. Brown heard cries from within, but he couldn't break the door down. Undeterred, he punched his way through the mountain's bare rock, rescuing a troll boy who was trapped inside. He ripped the unbreakable door off of its hinges and has borne it ever since. As with many legends about him, Brown laughed uproariously when he first heard this particular tale, but far from refuting such stories, he embraces them. Why let the truth get in the way of inspiring others to act of generosity and kindness. No matter how he actually found his shield, soon afterward, Brown made his way to the sacred site of Racklestake, where many tribes had gathered to hear the words of the Avarasian War Mother Ash, said to be the reincarnation of Arosa herself. There he witnessed the barbarian Trindamir, desperate to prove his worth, savagely beating any who would face him. As Brown watched, he saw that Trindamir was growing increasingly unhinged. During one duel, he was so lost in his fury that it seemed certain he would kill his opponent. Despite having already prevailed, decided things had gone far enough, Brown planted himself in front of the downed fighter, shield raised, and Trindamir hacked and smashed against the impenetrable bulwark.
bulwark. When the barbarian's rage finally subsided, Brown's good humor won him over, and before long, the pair were laughing and drinking to each other's health. Some even say that it was Brown who first introduced Trindamir to Ash. The barbarian would later marry her, becoming her only blood sworn. Brown doesn't hold any particular tribal allegiance, for he views all within the Freljord as brothers and sisters. Even so, he sees in Ash someone who can end the centuries-old feuding among the Freljord tribes, and the Avaracens have informally adopted him into their number. Brown's dream, as he often tells adoring children, is that someday the Freljord will be united in one big family, and then he can retire to become a humble Poro herder. Though Brown counts no one as his enemy, he has had a few run-ins with the Frost Guard since he started carrying a shield. He doesn't understand why they have a grudge against him, nor why they seem so interested in what he now bears. Brown's a pretty cool guy. As always, this stuff is incredibly interesting to me, and uh, it is a pleasure to listen to this music and dive into this League of Legends lore at this surface level, and I hope that you're enjoying these as well. As always, if you like this sort of stuff, feel free to like, subscribe. There are links in the about section if you want to support the channel, and as always, thanks a ton, and I'll talk to you later.